Hi! Are you ready to illustrate the owl and the grasshopper story? This one's going to be fun. Okay, we're going to split our paper in half again. I'm just going to draw a really thin dotted line down, okay? And on this side, I'm going to put the owl, and over here, I'm going to put the grasshopper far enough away. Hmm. Okay, so we are going to start out with a circle right about in the middle of our page. Okay, a nice circle. And then we'll take and put, cut that circle in half. It's going to look almost like an egg. Then down in the bottom part of our circle, we're going to put two little lines like that. Okay? This is going to be like the wing on the owl, and this is going to be its tummy. So we're going to put some feathers in that tummy. We're going to put a bunch of U's. So I'm going to put at the top of that spot three U's, just like that. And then underneath it, I'm going to put two more, and then one more underneath that. And that makes the owl look like he has some feathers growing there. Down here on the bottom, I'm going to put three little claws on each side, because those are going to be the owl's talons. Okay, I think I'm even going to put some dots at the end to make it look like there's claws hanging at the bottom of those uh, toes. There we go. Now owls have pointy ears. So, uh, at the top up here, I'm going to give him some pointy ears. There we go. And they have a really, really sharp beak. So I'm going to put a diamond shape right in the middle of my owl. Just like that. And that'll be his beak, and his mouth is underneath it. Now, I'm going to give him some big eyes because owls have big eyes. And when I go to put the black part of the eye in, I want him looking over that way where I'm going to put my grasshopper. So I'm going to put the dark parts of his eyes looking over to the side. Doesn't he look like he's looking over that way? And I'm going to make him angry. And to do that, I'm going to make his eyebrows go a certain way. I'm going to make them point in. So, oh, doesn't he look angry? Oh my goodness. And then, since he's sitting in a hole in the tree, I'm going to put a hole all the way around him. There, he's sitting in the hole in his tree. Okay, now let's go over here and we will draw the grasshopper. Now, I'm going to ask you to do something that probably isn't very right, but I'm going to ask you to make a backwards capital D. It's going to look like this. Instead of going to the right, I'm going to go to the left. Oh, see? It looks like a backwards capital D. And then from there, I'm going to draw a straight line out. Straight line out. From the bottom of the D, I'm going to just arc it up to the top like that. And I'm going to put another one in there, because that's going to be the uh, grasshopper's wing. Grasshoppers are insects, and so they have six legs. Four of them are tiny, and they're in the front. So we'll put just some tiny little legs there. But their back legs are very, very big. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. This might make it a little bit easier. I'm going to ask you to put a dot above the grasshopper and a dot below the grasshopper and another dot 
beside that. Okay, see the three dots? Now I'm going to start right here at the bottom of my backwards D and I'm going to draw a line up to the top dot. I'm going to come down to the bottom dot and over there. And there I have a grasshopper leg. Now, he's got a leg on the other side of him, so I'm just going to do this. I'm going to come up and down. There, now it looks like he's got another leg sitting behind him there. Since he's an insect, he's going to have antennas. So let's give him two antennas. There. And you know what? My grasshopper is going to be happy because she's singing. So I'm going to give her a nice smile on her face. Oh, she's smiling. She loves to sing. And I'm going to give her only one eye because we can only see one side of her face. We can't see the eye on the other side, so I'm going to give her a great big eye. And I'm going to put the dark part facing that way so that it looks like she's looking over at the owl. Ah. Uh, I think she's getting a flattery. Okay, now I'm going to put a line underneath her like this, and then I'm going to put another line underneath her for a branch that's sitting there. And then I'm going to take that branch and I'm going to bring it down over on the owl side. And I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go up on the owl side. And then on this side of the owl, I'm going to put the rest of the tree coming down. There. Now, I think I'll take out my dotted line that says I cut my paper in half. <gasps> and there we go. There's the grasshopper sitting on the branch. And there's the owl in her little nest inside her tree. We could put some lines on the tree like this so that it looks like our bark is showing. There. Whoa. And I bet you you could draw some leaves on there and put a sun up in the sky. You could just have lots of fun adding details to it it'll help you tell the story of the grasshopper and the owl and more flattering stuff. Thank you.